Howdy y'all, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today is October 2nd, it's the night before the Texas Archery opener. So tomorrow morning I'm going to be headed to Huntsville to my uncle's private property out there. He's graciously offered up about two sections of 15 acres each or so and kind of let me treat it like public land so that I can hunt it as I would if I was out in the national forest or something like that. And so that's been kind of nice. I've been able to set up my own trail cameras. I've done my own scouting. I'll be hunting out of the tethered phantom saddle. I've got some lone wolf sticks that I'm using to climb the trees. I have my Diamond Infinite Edge Pro with my heavy arrows that I built. And I'll be using the Magnus Stinger this weekend. I've got my boots and I put my clothes in here with some pine needles to help with scent control a little bit. I've got my cooler over there. Hopefully I can use that if I harvest a deer. So during Huntsville archery season, you can hunt doe or bucks, but the bucks to be legal have to have an inside spread of 13 inches or greater, or you can hunt a spike as well. So if I have a nice big doe pop up tomorrow morning, I will not hesitate to take that shot. I'll be waking up about 4 a.m. and heading out it's about an hour north of me, and I plan on hunting. Uh, it's about 10, 20 yards from a couple of scrapes that we've seen as I was doing some scouting out there a couple weekends ago. Haven't gotten a ton of trail camera activity, but I've seen some, some does and walking through, seen a couple of hogs and a couple of decent bucks at nighttime. I can't wait to bring you all along on my first bow hunt, and hopefully you all can watch me harvest my first deer with my bow. See you all in the morning. Good morning everyone. I just stopped and got gas. It's 4.35 in the morning. About to head out to Huntsville. Unfortunately, my donut shop that I usually go to doesn't open until 5.30, so I couldn't get breakfast. I may stop somewhere on the way, but otherwise I will turn y'all on when I get there. So it's about 10.45. It's been almost two hours since we had that doe come in. She came in over here off my right shoulder. About 20 yards, 20, 22 yards. Never really had a chance at her. She was behind some trees and stuff. Hopefully I got some decent footage. But I'm gonna go ahead and head down grab a bite to eat and then come back out and I think I'm gonna go to a different spot this afternoon. My trail camera footage shows a lot of afternoon activity in a different spot. So I'm gonna head over there and I'll turn you all on when I get set up. I just got in the tree and got all set up. The deer like to come in over here on the left off this trail. And they'll walk through here and come on either the left or right side of this tree. And they like to eat that 
American Beauty Berry bush right there. They'll eat the leaves right off of it. And I've got my trail camera over here on this tree, pointed right at that Beauty Berry tree. And I've gotten a lot of bug activity and a lot of afternoon doe activity. It's day two. I'm in a different spot. It was the same spot I was at last night. I reviewed the trail cam footage and I had a good amount of doe traffic in the morning here. So I figured I'd come back and see if I could get myself a doe. Or maybe see if those pigs come back. So I'll turn you on when we get some action. So it's about 11 o'clock. That doe walked by about an hour ago. I've been seeing on my trail camera three doe, typically a mom and two fawns. And so I was expecting two more to come out. By the time I realized she was alone and went to go grab my bow, she ducked behind those trees there. And then she just kind of followed the edge all the way around and never really popped out for me to get a shot. I'm gonna go ahead and jump down, uh, grab some lunch, and then we'll set up around 2.30 or 3 o'clock. And I think I'm gonna go somewhere else. There's a spot on the other side of the property that has a river crossing that I liked. I don't have a trail camera over there yet, so I'm gonna set one up today too. And we'll sit out there for a few hours and see if anything comes by. Well, it's about four o'clock on Sunday. I'm gonna sit out here for about two and a half, three hours, see if anything shows up. And then I gotta head home, got work tomorrow. So I'm set up on a couple of scrapes. It took me about an hour or so to find something that I thought was worth setting up on. <laughs> My allergies are killing me. I'm sweating my ass off, so I'm not really expecting to see much, but let's hope we do. All right, guys, I just got home, started unpacking. It's pretty late. Hey, but watch out. I got a happy pup here. It's pretty late right now, so I'm gonna keep this short. Although I didn't harvest anything this weekend, it was still a pretty successful weekend. I enjoyed it, I really, learned a lot about myself. I learned more about deer movements. 
I learned that when you're that close to the deer, every minor move and sound is critical. So I thought it was all in all a good experience and hopefully I'm gonna learn from this and next week I'll be able to harvest an animal. I'll be headed out to our property in Oklahoma and I'll probably get one or two hunts in. I have a huge respect for guys that self film now. I mean, just getting up the tree, getting set up, getting the camera turned on, doing all that is no small feat, especially for me when, you know, this was a weekend of firsts. It was my first time bow hunting, first time in a saddle, first time actually hunting from a tree, first time trying to film my hunt. So I may have been a little bit aggressive on what I was doing, but I learned a lot and I'm going to keep with it and hopefully be able to catch something I harvest on camera for y'all. Uh, but otherwise, I appreciate y'all tuning in and hopefully you'll watch next week's video as well. And let's hope I harvest something. Thanks, guys.